Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here with a little scripture for you. Psalms 105, excuse me, Psalms chapter 5, <laughs> senior moment, starting at verse 1. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King, my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord, and in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. <laughs> Let them shout, ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. Amen. I can't tell you how many countless times the Lord has led me to that scripture to encourage me. And I believe God wants to encourage you. Now, I don't know what you're going through, but my name is Pat, P-A-T, not G-O-D. But God knows what you're going through. And God wants you to pour your heart out to him. Part of what we go through is to draw our hearts close to God's heart, not run us away from him. It is in those dark but secret moments, those intimate moments of, of, of vulnerability that we get to experience God in phenomenal ways. When we cry out to God, when we pour our heart out to him and we share our fears, our complaints, our frustrations, and we call out to him and say, but God, you got to help me. you got to take care of me. you got to keep me stable while everything is shaking around me. Trust me when I tell you. He will not only comfort you in the midst of it, he'll strengthen you on the inner man. He will almost have you collect your faculties. You will get your bearings. You will begin to see a, a, a clearer view of what's happening. And you'll even get a clearer view of what your part is to play in this scenario. But until you get those answers, God will speak peace be still to your heart, to your nerves, to your emotions. He will keep you as the apple of your eye. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. You're not alone in the crisis. It's not the boogeyman. God has got you. Remember that. His love is everlasting. There's nowhere you can go to escape his love. You can choose to go the wrong directions, but he never stops loving you because God is love. He is for you. Lift up your eyes unto the hills. There's a scripture that says, it's Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. 
My help cometh from God. Listen, I'm going to read it. I'm going to pull it up because sometimes we need to hear what God wants to say to us through his word. And when he wants to talk to us through his word, there are times that nothing else will answer like that. And while you're in the middle, sometimes all you're going to hear is how to hang in there. But when it comes from God, you are more than able. You hear me? Now listen to this. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He's not sleeping on the job, baby. I'm sorry, that's Pat's two cents. Let me get back to the word. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. You have no need to fear. Not when God is near. When God is working things out, yeah, you can't see his hand. You can't see his handiwork. You can't see his tapestry. You don't know the plans he has for you, but he knows the plans. It's not a lost cause. I don't care if death is in the, is in the mix. If, if it's, um, what do you call it? If, if it looks like a losing battle, the battle is the Lord's, not yours. Keep your chin up and walk in the confidence that a big brother couldn't take as good a care of you as God will. But you got to trust him. You got to trust him when you can't see him. You got to believe in him when you can't hear him. You got to lean on him when you don't know where he is. Trust him. I'm telling you from experience. God is trustworthy. God bless you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.